Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. In this video, we are going to see about how to implement the HTML file or uh, custom HTML editor into our Flutter web, especially. So, without any delay, let's get started. So, yeah, uh, before dive into the tutorial, uh, we'll just have a look at uh, the execution of the uh, our goal today. So, here I am having a two buttons called uh, HTML file or HTML editor. First, we'll have a look at HTML file. So if you click this, this screen will come here. So in this screen, I have a two button called get message from HTML, which means you can get uh, uh, any messages which is inside our uh, HTML file. And you can also send uh, any messages to the particular HTML file by, by clicking this, this button, send message to HTML button. So as you can see, this is the text from HTML. So right now here I have uh, displayed the HTML which is inside my asset. So if I click the get message from HTML, as you can see the console, the exact message which is here will be printed in the console. I'm just getting the uh, text from HTML. Now I'm, as soon as I click the send message to HTML button, so I, I have I have given some messages uh, inside my inside our dot. So it's sending the message to the HTML file. So which is shown here. So now let's have a look at uh, HTML editor now. So, so here, uh, so here I have used the quill editor uh, for for this purpose. Uh, you can also uh, type anything you want, and you can also make all the stylings that you want to put it here. So after you given lot of uh, text here, so you can also get the text which is inside the editor. If I click the get message from editor as you can see the console you can get the those values here with the uh, rec required uh, HTML tags and uh, uh, after I click this send message to editor I can also send the message to the editor now that same text which is we have seen before so yeah so this is the goal of the today's video now we'll dive into the tutorial so here I have the uh, view HTML file. So inside the HTML file, I'm having the some sample div here. Uh, which I have given that this is HTML. This is the text from HTML. And inside the script, you have to include this line. So this is the path to connect uh, HTML to our Flutter. So you have to use this line inside our script. So after that, I'm having the function called get value. So inside the get value, I'm just getting the uh, this div exact value in the HTML value, and I'm just returning this in, in this function. And I'm, a, I'm I've given the uh, listener here uh, for uh, post message, which is happening from our dot side. So you can, uh, if you want to send those messages from our dot side, you have to add a listener here inside our HTML. So that's what I'm done here. So inside, uh, so once I get the sample uh, text, so I'm just setting it to the inner html of the this div id so this is what i have done here and i have also have the editor.html which will have the cool editor so this are all the some example uh cool editor file here so which are all the toolbar options that i want to include in and after that i'm so as you can see i'm I've given the same line here parent dot connect to flutter and uh, parent dot connect content to flutter window so uh, here also I'm uh, having the get value function as well as the listener for to set the value to the quill cool editor. So this is what I have done here inside the editor.html. So now we'll see the dark part now. So first we'll see uh, the view HTML part in uh, our uh, flutter.code. So here I'm having the connector JS object connector which will be uh, having from our HTML library. So uh, it is the path to connect our uh, dart to JS object, and uh, you have to create the create view uh, create ID so so that you can register the our UI to the flat exact HTML file. So for that you have to give the very very unique ID. So here I'm using the random method to generate the random string here, and you have to we are going to uh, like uh, include those HTML file as a iframe element to our uh, our UI, our real UI. So that's why we are using the HTML iframe element. And this is the sample HTML text that I want to send send it to the HTML file. 
and inside the init, init state i'm just make sure the connector to be connected here so context so this is the line that we will be giving source in our uh, real html file so so once our connector is connected we will be giving this connector equal to that contact as the callback values which is from our uh, html side so after that we will be enabling the iframe element uh, to the our variable so i'm just giving the source so that the exact path which is our html file inside our project and after that you have to register our uh, view factory with the created id and as well as the iframe element so here i'm using some hat to so right now uh, we don't have the uh like uh, ui uh, that uh, register view factory uh, i mean register view factory method which is uh, it is isn't defined inside our uh, ui library so it will be always showing the uh, like uh, red line so that's why i'm using some hack here to make uh, enable it uh, for our web especially for web not for mobile so here i'm using the conditional import statement here so since only it will allow when when the platform is executing in our uh, in our website so it won't run inside our uh, mobile site so it so that it won't throw any errors at the compile time and after that so inside our, our uh, build method so i'm having two buttons so here I get message from html get send, send message to the html file so by, by help of the html element view widget we are going to display the html uh, which are all the file that we want to show it in our flutter site so this html uh, element we will accept the view type as a key uh, which will be defining that unique item uh, top of the our, uh, declaration so you have to pass it there so once we click this uh, get html from html so we have defined the one thing uh, uh, function which will be having so here so you as you can see there's a function name called get value so you you have to give the same name here to get the value from the html file so that's why i'm giving the get value here so by using the connector call method so once i get the message i'm just printing it into our console and same for uh, send message to html so by using the iframe element we are uh, inside the window we are just post posting the message uh, as a data which is we have given here html text so it will be goes to the uh, this listener and uh, after the listener listener has find out the this matchable id so it will just set it to the uh, respective uh, html uh, element which is inside this file so that's how it works in uh, view html and uh, for we'll see about the editor now uh, for uh, for editor uh, We'll be doing the same as we did for uh, uh, Vue HTML. So we, we are gonna create a connector and a unique ID for it, and uh, we are gonna create the iframe element, and we're gonna give the HTML text that which we want to send it to the HTML file, and we are gonna uh, instantiate the, those things inside our initial state. And after that, we'll be calling those same thing get value function, which is I'm having here say the editor.html as you can see get value so I'll, I'll be just calling this function this function will give you give us the exact uh, text which is inside our uh, call editor so here same as we can pass those value here which will be listening from this event listener so it will be set to the call root so that's how the editor uh, Full editor works in inside our flutter so now we will see the output now so i'll just turn it to the chrome So yeah, so it is uh, coming now. Just expand it a little more. 
okay yeah so so when we click on the html file the file will be uh, rendering here so if you click this html get message from html you can see the console that this message is appearing here and if you can hit the send message html as you can see our uh, sample data is sending from dart to our uh, html file so this is how this html file works and uh, after that we'll be hitting the html editor now so editor appears here you can also enter what all the values that you want to put it here you can make stylings and even if you want to input some media you can do that also so so if i click the get message from editor you can see it will be giving the respective uh, html tags along with those values and uh, you can also attach some images or assets videos links and uh, as you can give what are all the toolbar option that you want to put it here you can do that in our in our html so if you hit the get message from data so you'll be getting this as the base 64 string of the those image so this is how uh, the html editor works here and you can also send hit this send message to data editor and our sample data will be appear here so so this is how uh, the custom html or html editor works in our two-way communication it is happening between the js to dot uh, so this is how it works so that's all for the today's video guys we'll see you in next video stay tuned